details to my place, to my humble abode. I'm your hostess with the most is Mary, a professed hoarder for those of you who don't know that, but an organized one. I'm also a reseller on the Postmark app at Lady Vintage Shop and Purse Attic Shop. The links to my posh closets will be in the description below. Today I bring to y'all a thrift haul. A thrift haul of beach bags, tote bags, beach bag, tote bag, satchels. Okay, so this might be a lengthy one, y'all. Uh, go get y'all something to eat or drink. I got my trusted latte and my chocolate mocha. Look at that, guy. So, ooh, I got to watch that, y'all. Mmm, chocolate mocha, anyway. Excuse me for a minute, y'all. Let me get over here. Mmm, it was good. I was thirsty. Oh, I, excuse me, y'all. I got to wipe this, uh, my keyboard right in front of me. And not being mindful, I don't spill a little bit on here. I got to be careful with that because I don't want it to not work, you know. This is an electric device, so got to make sure I ain't nothing wet on here. But anyway, welcome back to my subscribers. Thank you for joining me here, and welcome to you new viewers. Please give me one or two thumbs up. If you like the video, share it so it could go across the YouTube community and subscribe if you haven't done so. Press that notification bell bing, so you will be notified when I upload another video of Catchy Tales. Well, you will see some of my artwork, uh, mixed media artwork. For those of y'all who don't know, I'm a musician. I play the keyboard. Still trying to learn to play my acoustic over there, and then I got the electric guitar over there. And my uh, husband bought me a uh, violin that's over there, too. But uh, I'm just a master at the keyboard. But anyway, y'all might see that. I take my trusty camera around the Chicagoland area where I live, to local parks, to downtown Chicago along the Magnificent Mile. You'll go to Grand Park, Millennium Park. You'll see public artwork. I'll take you to the local museums. And I'll just walk around anywhere with my camera and show y'all what's really happening here inside town. So well, anyway, without further ado, oh, before I begin. So in the midst of me talking to y'all, y'all excuse me if I stumble and pause for a minute because I'm a sufferer of fibromyalgia, for those of y'all who don't know. And it's a real debilitating condition that sometimes I'm bedridden. And so I suffer from extreme chronic fatigue daily. Like now, I'm tired, so I need to move it on. But anyway, if y'all like some of this, it might be listed in my Postmark closets. So without further ado, let's start off with this. Okay, so this is a bucket bag, y'all. Isn't this a pretty, it's by, what, what's that saying? Joanne Marie Design. Joanne Marie Design. I hope y'all can see that. But that's what it says. Joanne Marie Design. Okay, isn't that pretty? Look at that striped bucket bag. No ass, no tail. Oh, yeah. I got uh, these come from Goodwill, Family Thrift, and Unique Thrift Stores in the Chicagoland area. So look at this pretty uh, ring. So this is fall fur, y'all. It's not real fur. Hang tank. And so it comes with, and you open it up, and there's this drawstring. And so you open it uppy duppy. If I could get it open. And so you open it uppy duppy. It's real pretty. It's like a uh, medium, medium to large bag. I don't know what you think. That's a medium. It's real pretty. And so it has a cross body strap that's not adjustable. So I don't know if this cross body or not. And I don't feel like getting up y'all. But anyway, look at the pretty detail on the silver metal. Right. And so it's just a big old hole with uh, two slip pockets there. And over here, you have a zipper pocket. If y'all can see in it. Really pretty. 
Look at that. The thing is, you find at the thrift store, y'all. The thing is, you find at the thrift store. The next item is, let me take, I got stuff inside stuff, y'all. So the next thing will be this simple black bag. So these are fashion un, um, unbranded name bags, and some of them name brand bags. And so, uh, and but all of them look to be vintage. If not, they up to date in just fashion bags. Look at this mess. This nice tote bag, and I got two pockets. So this one not mess. It's the canvas, pretty canvas. With this is mess. This is pretty. Look at that. Really nice bag. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. And then it has the plastic uh key, lane. And then so it just has one open pocket with no pockets in it, y'all. But it's a pretty bag, man. And the feet intact. Bottom, not feet, bottom and corner. Nowhere, no tears. Moving right along. This is empty, y'all. Like I said. Isn't this cute? This is a Clinique vintage bag. Oh, pretty. Just canvas. Very plastic canvas. Like polyvinyl. And canvas. So I got this one huge pocket right here. And and it clip block. Is it? No, it's just it's not magnetic, it's just clips. And so it's just one, it's a little few stains in here, but it's just one opening. That's a pretty bag, isn't it? Pretty little tote bag. See, I like quaint stuff. Everything I show y'all I wear. And then sometimes I'll just immediately put it up in my Poshmark closet. Here's a sack of roots bag. Sack of roots. Good for the fall, y'all. Look with the pretty owl and the leaves and the trees. Oh, God, I'm so pretty. And so, got So, this is coated canvas. And then it got the fall leather strap. Uh, it's, it's not removable, this strap, but it's adjustable. It got the adjustable. It's an adjustable strap. But look at this. So this is a medium to large, and it got two side pockets. Two. And this side pocket got the back zipper pocket. Nowhere tails on it. Look at this pretty bag, y'all. Nowhere, no tails on this bag. And so it's a satchel. It's like a satchel bag and you open it right here. It's this clip. This clip, but it's not. Yes, yeah, magnetic clip. It's a magnetic clip. And so you open it and you got your two pockets here in the front. Then you got the zipper come into it and then that's how I look at the inside. Some slips on the zipper. Isn't that pretty? Look at this pretty bag. Very beautiful. The next one is a simple little flower, little cotton bag. Remind you of potato sack. And they got the nice appliques on here. The wood. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Lime green blue. It's, you seeing the real color how it is. Isn't that a pretty bag? Man. And so on the back, look. So on the front and back, it has the, these things. And so it's just big opening and one slip. Can't hardly show y'all that, but there's the slip. So it's a big opening. Bucket bag, real pretty. So that, okay, look at this. This little small tote bag. Really pretty zebra print. Canvas. Mad. Nowhere tail in the corners or bottom. No pockets in the back. We got this nice, like, satiny ribbon detail that you could take out and put another one in there or a scarf or something. So, opens. We got 
pocket here with a zipper. The middle partition and this side with some slips. And uh, uh, in the middle. Oh, that I have thrifted a different day. This nice little bag to blend with it. Isn't that cute? <laughs> yeah. So that's a cute little bag. A little, little nice little tote bag or shoulder bag. So the next thing is this really pretty simple cotton bag. Cotton linen bag. Uh, really pretty orange. Geometric print. Isn't that pretty? No way I tell it's on the corners or bottom. Really pretty. So this is all cotton. And so it has attached to it this little bag here. And it's attached to it like that. You could take it off because somebody just tied it on it like that. But that's cute, ain't it? And so it just got one big open pocket right now for me. And so that's that. Really pretty, ain't it, y'all? Yeah. Pretty, pretty. Look at this pretty bag. <laughs> and so. I think I got that from Family Thrift. But like I said, Family Thrift, Goodwill, and uh, Unique Thrift Store. Okay, this one right here. This is pretty. I think I got this from Unique Thrift Store. This is like a three-piece. This is heavy duty, y'all. Isn't this pretty? Look at this. So, I don't know if this fall leather or real leather, but it got... Look at the detail. Got this. Oh, uh, bag on the back. You can put your ID. And then over here, you can put stuff in there. And then this removes right here. Really pretty. You can remove this. And you open it up. All right. Uh, and then here. Look, still new. This strap and then it got a, uh, a zipper here so this you could remove this and that strap could be on here you could just remove it isn't that cool I, I ain't gonna try to remove it because that, that's too much but anyway here's the side really pretty nice satchel bag so it's crawl croc detail and canvas like now nylon canvas no wear tail on the corners or bottom and then the inside magnetic closure and as i look in the inside real pristine condition you got slips and you got a zipper with a key lanyard in it really pretty okay let's see what this saying in the tag here they said it's man-made materials. White with a dry cloth. This is an Avon bag, y'all. Look at it. This is an Avon bag, look like. Ooh. Really pretty. And so I like this because it's detachable. You see, you could take that off and put it something else there. All four corners. You could detach. And then you could detach this, like I said, inside I got that shoulder strap. And then that. Isn't that cool? The things you could find at the thrift store. And I think I got this from a unique thrift store. So that. Like I said, I got bags inside bags, y'all. So what's in here? So this, I added a, a, my own scarf to it. And I put my own scarf to it. And the scarf thrifty. And it's pretty. I don't know if you can see the design on the scarf. But it's real pretty, the design on the scarf. But look at this straw bag. No wear, no tears on this bag. Just a simple straw, lime green and blue bag. Really pretty. Baby blue and light lime green. Just one opening. And then I have thrifted this little pouch that's included in there. 
That's all. So this is the one similar to this, but this is zebra print. This is zebra print, and this right here is just zigzag print. Oh, isn't that pretty? Uh, look at that. So I got something in here to show y'all, and I like this because it got the clear outside. Look at this. The zipper. This is a, a 31 brand. It's called 31. See it up there. 31. And so I have thrifted this dress. Same print, y'all. This dress and this bag. This say 31. And this bag came with the crossbody strap. So it don't look like you could attach no strap to this. This bag. Look at that with the clear. Look at that. No wears on the corner or bottom. This is pretty. And so it, it just has one huge pocket with these things here that you can put things in. I forgot what you put it use that for. And then here's the mask pocket and I got me a mask in there because I wore this already. And then it zips up. Zip, zip it. Isn't that pretty? And so, here's this. I had thrifted it a different day. Not even on the same day. So, it's the adjustable crossbody strap. Okay. So, feel like cotton, y'all. The strap. With the prettiness at 31 on the hallway. See? Same brand as the big purse. But, thrifted a different day. It seems you can find it at the thrift store, y'all. Say 31 on here. Oh, no, both of them are set 31. So this side is two zippers and you open it like this with the magnetic clip. Isn't that pretty? So we got, and it's like 31 there, the brand in. And it got a uh, ID slot and credit card slot. And the two compartments there. On each side. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Wow, nice, y'all. Nice. Nice. You see that? The things you can find. And if you remember <laughs> what you already have, you can match your stuff. I'm a person that like to match stuff. And it's a different day. All of these from three different days of thrifting. And this one right here came from a uh, unique thrift store. Still got the tag on here. I ain't wear this yet. Look at this. Isn't it pretty? So it's real pretty. This is size 2X. This is... This is... I can't even see the name in cursor, but it's a 2XL. 2X. Just a 2X. See, I don't know the name right there. J. Lee or something. Mm -hmm. But anyway... So it's pretty, and then all of this is rouge in here. Look at that. The elastic. Not rouging, but the elastic. Ooh, elastic way. And this zips all the way down the front, y'all. So you could wear it as a cardigan, too. If you don't want to just wear it as a dress, you could wear it with something. Mm -hmm. Nice white blouse or black blouse, white pants, black pants with this. Skirt. Ooh, the y'all. <laughs> so three different things at three different times. Look, that's a nice, lengthy, small little tote bag with the clear. Thirty-one brand name is thirty-one. Okay, this is a bag. I don't know if it belong with this haul, but. So this is a nice little just bag. It's pretty cotton, hundred percent cotton. Really pretty. Like fall bag, summer fall. Could be spring even. Magnetic closures and so it just got a zipper here. All cotton. And that's it. I don't see no name. What this 
straight up cotton and it reminds you of potato sack too. No webs or tails on the bottom. Isn't that a pretty like design? Woo, trying to get through this, y'all. I gotta stop spending so much time on this and I don't want a part two, so let me move it on. Okay, so check out this one, y'all. Woo, this is a large or extra large tote bag look. It come with this, whatever that R is. Real heavy duty. Hang tag. And then it comes with this little pouch. Look, it looks like mustache. A mustache bag. Look at that. No way I tell on the bottom of the corner. None. And so it got this silver. So it seemed like this leather, but it could be uh, polyvinyl leather. You know, PU leather. And so it got a little pill in here. Silver. So it's silver and black. You know, cute and large. So it zips. <laughs> No outside pockets. One huge pocket. This is a Massimo. It's Massimo uh, Walmart or Target. I forgot. Massimo. A zip. And huge pockets. Well, I need to move it on. But this is really bad. Massimo. So I must have added this to it. This hang tag. Because this is a Massimo bag. So this must have went with another bag. Because I wore this too. Okay, I think I might have shown this. I forgot because I got stuff jumbled up. I think I might have showed this in my uh, satchel bag video. I'll post it up top. That's if I posted that video or not with all them bags. Okay, but I think I did this. This is a big Buddha. Big Buddha. Potato sack, 100% cotton. Potato sack bag. So there's the bag. Big Buddha. Isn't that saying Big Buddha? Yes. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it says Big Buddha. Big Booty. Oh, excuse me. Buddha. <laughs> Have my face off. Excuse me. And so there's the zip in the back. Really pretty. Look at the design. Got feet and no way on the corner. And so here it is again. Red big Buddha with a zipper. And then it got some slips over on that side. Really nice. Big tote bag. Pretty tote bag. Ooh, I got a lot to put up, y'all. A lot to put up. Check out this. Nice tote bag. I was thinking about should I include this in my next video whenever I post it of the thrift haul of all my travel bags. Thrifted travel bags. But anyway, I included it in this one. And I still might include it in the travel bag video. But this fall up. And so this canvas. But look at it. It's pretty pretty. Nice, extra large bag. And it has... Just regular clap, uh, clip. Two pockets in the front. Nothing in the back. Some spots and stain. Just a little stain. That's the feet. I mean, bottom. Keep saying feet. It's just one pretty, first thing, uh, opening in there. It really pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Ooh, like to put up y'all check out this one. I forgot if I showed this too. I don't think I did. This is a beach bag by Surviving Stress. That's what it say there. But then in the inside it say Quasby Q U A S B Y. It just say Quasby y'all. Y'all tell. So because I was reading that first from that. Oh, it says and R. Ormsby. Oh, so I was reading that on the back, but on the back of that is this. So that's amazing. Beach bag, look, pretty. It's just a nice piece. So this is 100% cotton. Just one opening, nothing on the side over there. Nope, that's one big. Hard to show this bag. 
But anyway, I like the details. See how this goes through. The pull spray. Because it's pretty bad, so it pulls spray like that. Look at this. This happy duty, y'all. No way to tell. Nice, pretty beef bag, ain't it, y'all? And then they look at this. It has this already on it. And this came with it too, so I don't know did whoever the owner was put it there or did it come when the lady made it and promptly the designer made it. But check it out. And so this 100% cotton. Heavy duty, y'all. Heavy. Ooh, my arm was hurt. Okay, so bags within bags again. So this nice little tote bag, little pretty. I don't know what you call this. This is all oh, straw. Straw bag, bag, but it's that type of straw. And it has some uh, some of the uh, peeling, you know, coming apart. And stuff. But look at the applique. It's really pretty. And I like this part. It's just in the front. Really pretty. Lightweight. And it zips. It's just one opening in it. Where there's a slip over there. Really pretty. Just a nice fashion little cute bag. <laughs> Go back. This red and black little tote bag. It's just tied up right here. That's all. There we go. That's so nice corner on the bottom. Nothing on the back. You just tie that and open it. No pocket. I don't know the name. I don't feel like looking. And it's got a tag inside, but I need to move on. <laughs> <coughs> Y'all excuse me for one more minute. Take me another drink. One more please. Mm, that's some good stuff, y'all. Some mocha coffee. A latte coffee. Mocha flavor. Check it out, y'all. Isn't this cool? Look at this. I don't know if this belongs in this hall. But look at it. And so these, like, beads. And they can be moved. Well, no, it's not at this. I ain't gonna go past this. But it's pretty. This Asian... Look at this Asian, like, stop. I don't know if this silk, because it's so delicate. Look at the tassels, y'all. I think these silk, this is silk purse. They don't say it, but I think it is. Look at the design. This come from India, or it's still the Asian continent. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? It looks silk. Like 100% zip. So it got two zippers. I mean, you open this for the front pocket. And it goes all the way down. And then there's another one up here at the very top. And that goes all the way down, too. So you got two pockets. And on a uh, rope, one rope. Spring. But look at that, y'all. Look at that. Look at the beauty, the detail. Look at that. The tapestry. And this. It looks straight up silk. Y'all not seeing it. It's a little golden. It looks like straight up gold. And it's like, uh, because the light ain't doing it justice. But this is gold and it's shiny. Ooh. And the back. It's all delicate. It looks like a Like you could use that as a wall hanging. <laughs> That's the artist talking to me, y'all. But anyway, check out this little tote, pretty tote bag. This cold water creek. Cold water creek. And so got zipper pockets in there. And got pens and ink pen pencil pockets on that side. On this side, it got slips. Slips. Oh, we got this zip up here too on that side. With uh, you can put some cards there. And then, some flips in there. Some big old interior. This is sharp, ain't it? Coldwater Creek. 
it's just got some, uh, the fraying ain't bad on the straps. It's just a little stray threads that I could clip off. And so, it's real pretty, you know. It got feet, but no wear or damage on the bottom of the corner. So, it got two pockets front and back. Deep, two deep pockets, deep. One right there, and one right here. All the way down to the end. Look at this satchel. Like tote. Oh, beautiful. Croc. I don't know if that's PU leather. Fall leather or the real deal. Okay, so I got this bag. Yeah, let's talk about this bag with two bags in it. Let me take them out. Uh, so this bag right here, I was considering, so I keep this bag for my, uh, for my luggage, thrifted luggage travel bag. Uh, but I still might include it in it. But anyway, this is this. Uh, uh, no pockets. Well, yeah, it got a, uh, Lip. I'm in zipper right there, but nothing on the other side. Oh, this is huge. This is like extra large. Okay, let's see, got a tag, but it just says made in China. And so it zips up. It's real huge. It zips up and it has it has a uh, a clip pocket here so not magnetic and that's for the, the middle and then next to the side we got pockets too. so there's three pockets in the front one two three no wear tail on the bottom of the corner just a little dirty could be wiped off this all vinyl which uh look like cotton strap oh nice look at that for the fall beach detail Look at that. You can wear this now. Travel or not. Travel to the zoo. Nature. I'm a nature adventurer. I'll go out to the forest reserves. <laughs> Where the deer at. You see the wildlife. The flora and fauna. Plants and animals you ain't never seen out there. Including all these different insects. I got photos of this stuff. I'm going to show my photos better. I'm just gonna make a video showing my photograph. I got a, a video already up. I'm gonna post it up here. Of my art gallery that never opened due to COVID and a slum landlord. Check this out, y'all. I think I got this from Goodwill. I got pink and I also got white down there. But I added this to it. This is the real. And I just put it, paired it with it. Put it on top. But this came with it. And then this, uh, I must have bought from CN or somewhere, or Timu, this little keychain. But this came with it, this. And it's removable, you can remove it. Look at this tote, it's really pretty. And this was in new condition. It still had the, uh, the plastic on the handles when I bought it. This one was I look at it inside. And this is by Bath and Body Works. And I think I bought this from Unique Thrift Store. Really nice. This some thick like cotton lining. Really pretty. Really beautiful bag. Pink. That hot. Not overwhelming neon or nothing like that. Just a pretty hot pink. And here's the white one. Same thing. Bath and body work. Just come with it. Could come off. Same thing. This was new too and had the things on it. Once again, here's the inside with the name. Really pretty. Now check this out, y'all. Check this out. Ooh, look at this nice hobo tote. It's large. It's pretty. Olive green. This straight up leather, y'all. Oh, look at the pretty big pouch. Big front pocket. Look at that. 
and so it got the magnetic clip clip close. I like the straps I made. Look at that on the inside and this the outside of it. Really in good condition, so that's the uh clothes and it's raw leather in the inside. So I got another bag in here. Let me take it out. And so I had a pair of things. It came with a, a strap. Just a little strap. Really pretty. And it's just one big old open pocket of raw leather. I don't know if I can show that or not. But it's just raw leather in there. Mm -hmm. Well, look at this, this bag. So there ain't no name on this bag. I don't know what this bag, where it come from. But there's the bottom. No wares, no care. And I have thrifted this and paired it with it. A little nice, little, uh, that's the Lauder pouch. Cosmetic pouch. Printed. Boy, the things are surprised at this store. This is heavy duty, y'all. Straight up leather. Look at that. Oh, probably cow leather. It's pebble. Too. Anyway, put that there and so I got this little just cute fashion tote fabric tote that's all with all the pretty colors on it just pretty and then so it looks like satin and this side opens like that clip on what is this bath and body works with me and it's a zipper. And then that's it. Really pretty. Just pretty in the way I don't care. And that. Coming down to it, y'all, I'm trying to hurry up because I'm at 37 minutes. Okay, so sometimes I'll just get D, uh, 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 bags for DIY projects. Do it yourself. So I can just do something with it, tear it up make things out of anything I want. But anyway, this was a cute, like, Asian bag. Look at this pretty bag. Look at this pretty bag. So this is, feel like it's all cotton. But, uh, th this, this is peeling. So this is vinyl. This ain't even, but underneath you could tell it's fabric under there too. Well, that was under the bottom and I took it all off. So I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this bag. Because I'm going to wear it like this at some point. But I was trying to think, should I tear it up and use the fabric as something else? I don't know. But there ain't no tears on it. It's just that the vinyl, the same, that was on the straps. All that, it peeled, just like it's peeling off of the strap. So I'm going to take that off too. But uh, but this fabric, look at that. Look at that. What, uh, I don't know if that's silk thread, gold thread, that look like bronze gold thread. It looks silk, y'all. Yeah? The thread in that cotton fabric. But then they got to pull the drawstring. I'm like, how you going to make a rope drawstring? How you going to make a bag like this and make it cheap to wear it? Tear apart. But everything intact, so I'm gonna just take this off too. The vinyl, the thin vinyl that's already tearing, and I'm gonna wear it like that, like the bottom. I'm gonna do it a better job because it's just end up being just fabric, see, and wipe all that down and stuff. And we're still wearing it. Oh, did I show y'all the inside? So it's clip, clip and zip. I have snitched it in, so I got to unsnitch it. So this is purplepearl.com. And so there's some, some slips in there. And a zipper pocket. Pretty pretty. Look at this bag. Seems like silk thread. Ooh, I think that's handmade, y'all. But anyway, check out this. Ooh, this is Dominica Republica. 
if I'm pronouncing it right. Look at this. This is all cotton. Check it out, y'all. You can still wear this. This is summer, like fall, spring. Still bad. But I like, look at this thick strap. You know, and it's all together. Just one bag. And I'm wrong with the feet. Not dirty or nothing. And I wore that. Can't you hear the money? I already wore it. So, it's pretty. I like the way it's made. So, this is by Robin Roof. And so, I got a slip there. And look at the uh, pinstripe. Red and white pinstripe pencil. Really pretty. And all this feel like all cotton. Ooh, and it's thick cotton. This ain't no cheap cotton. It's like heavy duty cotton. Next, we got this bag. I don't know if I showed this bag or not, but it's just, I don't know. This is a J E W E L L jewel. Jewel. Bag. See right there? And so got the pocket right there on the back. And these are signature bags. These are expensive if you look online. What is your bag? So somebody didn't want their G initial bag no more. I said, okay, I'm a OG girl. I'll take it. <laughs> and so they have a big old knife. So this is that dark gray, that silver gray. Dark, well, not silver, that dark gray. It's a little polka dot. So you got slip and uh, you got slip underneath and the zip and the brand name tag over there, jewels and that. Oh, this say jewel by 31. Oh, there's another 31 bag. Oh, it's about 31. It's like the uh, the zebra print and the zigzag black and white print bag. Okay, so there, these are the beach bags. I got two beach bags right here. And hands reach, arms reach. Look at that. What did it say? The summer of my dreams. I don't know where I can see that, but isn't that cute? Oh, look at that. And look at the peachy color, peach and yellow. And green. Oh, the film of my dreams. Nice. That's a pretty beach back cotton with the rope, cotton rope. Spring zipper. Zipper rubber. And, of course, I first did a cosmetic pouch to go with it to put your stuff in it. And this pouch is from Clinique. Pretty pink and white. And so just one big old opening in this bag. And hardly show it. It's hard to show it. Because it's droopy. This bag is droopy. But anyway, look at this pretty bag. Thing you can find at the thrift store, another beach bag. This is Aloha. This is a Paul Brent B R E N T. This is an expensive bag, too, according to comps online. Check it out, y'all. Hawaiian inspired bag. Honolulu inspired, I guess, or Hawaiian. It says hello, Aloha down here. Look at this bag, y'all. And there's the tag there. And it has beads across here. These are beads. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? This looks like 100% cotton. But it has wooden feet, y'all. Wooden feet. Look. No words it says on it. Say hello, hi. And here's how the back of it. Isn't this a pretty bag, y'all? Look at that. And it has this on here. It's a hula dancer on both sides. Let me turn around. There's another hula dancer. And it zips up close. And check out the zipper pool, y'all. Isn't that cute? A Hawaiian island tree. Tropical tree. And look, the inside is like this. 
one big huge open end crate with this attached to it. Right here. And this one put a pouch here with Velcro on. Let's put it right back. Probably. And then a pouch here and then a zip. Right there. Isn't that pretty? Look at that girl. Let's zip it up. Really pretty. This heavy duty too, y'all. Heavy. Heavy, heavy. Hmm. And then it's, it got his hang tag with his name on it. Look at this bag. The tea, the Okay, we're coming to the end, y'all. Coming to the end. Look at this pretty bag. It's just a blue vinyl bag. Oh, pretty. Just a pretty blue. It's like an aqua blue. It's like greeny blue. And it got a few stains here. You know, like where stains from clothes, being too close to some blue jeans or something. But anyway, it's pretty. So you raise it up like this. And it's like crock, crock emboss. And open it. And you reveal it inside. And you have slips. And you have a, a zip of part. Really pretty. Isn't this pretty? There's the corners. And the bottom. Nowhere, no tail in this bag. And of course, I thrifted an RF bag. I don't know anybody know what an RF is. Like that, so it's looking like that. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. It was pretty. Look at. Yeah, so it's just one open pouch, nice and clean. Paired with this purse. Mm. Never know when I'ma actually choose a thumbnail to go with my videos y'all keep doing this but i don't choose the videos because i don't post them i'm the editor and i see you gotta also post that i'm like oh this fatigue be you know overwhelming me i ain't going through all that but anyway check out the corduroy bag y'all this is my only time that i can recall in my thrifting life just uh finding a corduroy bag look at this Straight up maroon. Isn't it pretty? You're looking at the true color. Look, that's a pocket. And it's a magnetic clip. Magnetic clip. But look, it got feet. Feet on there with nowhere. On the corner bottoms, nowhere. And there's the other pocket. Everything intact. Look at this pretty bag. And so you don't raise this up. This is just the decoration. It's a zipper. But on the, um, it's some fraying on the straps. You see the thread coming off and the bot. I think it's polyvinyl. Vinyl. Real cheap. It feel cheap, the strap. But the corduroy, ooh, hard and heavy. And the uh, feet, that, that old chrome metal. And it's pretty, and it unzips. And it got it on there. Look like leather, but I don't think this real leather, y'all. This is an old Eddie Bauer vintage bag. Eddie Bauer. Who remember Eddie Bauer? There's the zipper pull. And of course, I prepared it with a little pouch that I found. Look at that, all that cotton in the inside. Look at this pretty bag. Like I said, with feet. And there's the back. Wow, nice. So I have found this, and this was already on the zipper. This little hang tag. Look at that. So here's the outside pocket. Who is this? Look at this. It's a Korea. I don't know if y'all seen it. But. So, 
It is pretty nice. It's coming off like pink, but it's really red, y'all. The interior. And then the top. But I like that. Look at that, how pretty that is. And on the back, it's like that. And it's fabric. And so it says, made in Korea right there. And then, of course, my money in here with the extra thing. Mm, this is a beautiful bag. So I paired it with this corduroy, but it could go with that Asian bag I saw a dog before, too. Isn't that pretty? Corduroy. <laughs> what? Like I said, y'all, I don't know if I'm going to be using that thumbnail or not. <laughs> but anyway, be that as it may, here is a bag, y'all. This is a leopard print. print. Polyvinyl bag, tote bag, made in China. I ain't see a name, but look, it's real pretty. Everything intact. Nowhere to tell in the corner. Everything intact. And so, no pockets on the outside, but it's pretty. It feel like a. Uh, fabric but it's not i don't know what type of material that is but it feels like velvety but it's not velvet and then fall level really pretty leopard print and so magnetic clues y'all and then it has a little pocket there and then the zipper right there right there yeah so that's how they said and of course i paired it with a little pouch that I thrifted it as well. This pretty pouch. This pouch is a no name pouch. But look at the design. The sequence. And so I got stuff in here. Y'all don't need to see all that but it's pretty. <laughs> the thing you can find at the thrift no yo. Okay, we down to three more bags, y'all, and then we'll be done. Oh. Look at this pretty bag, y'all. Look at this bag. It's shiny. It's like metallic lime green with the other colors in it. No wear tear. Really pretty. And so you close it by doing this, putting this. Open it close through this way and do that. Okay. And it's real thin. And it also is it open and close. Pretty bad. No name either. That's a pretty little satin light bag. This real thin. Real thin and lightweight. But beautiful. Fashion bag. You see? I like what I like. Here's another plain bag. It's cream and gold. Just a regular tote bag, y'all. Cotton. With polyvinyl. Nowhere I tell. Front and back look the same. There's the side. Front and back. A little dirty. Up top look like a, a potato sack. And then the inside. No pockets, no zipper clothes or nothing. Just an open tote. Pretty. And last bag. Last but not least is this pretty animal print bag, y'all. Look, cotton. Ooh, this heavy duty, but look at that. The tortoise shell. Ooh, look at that bag, y'all. Look at that bag. And it's front and back look the same. Cotton. This is heavy. Look, nowhere, no tears. The things you can find at the thrift store, you yeah. The things you can find at the thrift store. And it's just an open tote African print. Oh, look at that inside, y'all. Yeah. So this is the pocket area. Big, huge pocket. And that's the bottom look like the bag. On the other side, nothing. Look at this bag, y'all. Yeah. This is large. 
Mm. Well, there you have it, ladies and gents. Thank you for tuning in to another Gotcha Channel video. I appreciate y'all. Mm -hmm. Come back again if the Lord's will. If you like the video, give me one or two thumbs up. Please share so it can go across the YouTube community. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe and press that notification bell. Bing! So you'll be notified of each time I upload another Catchy Tail video. Until we meet again, love yourself. But love your neighbors as thyself. Love is the way to go, y'all. Y'all know it. But above all, let's love our Creator with all our heart, mind, body, soul, with all our stuff. And let's keep His commandments. For they are holy, just, righteous, and true. Always benefiting me and you. Take care, y'all. Peace and God pay love. Oh, I'm going to show my ring off. Bye.